I did four bonanzas. And you were had a crush on Pa. Well, I, yeah. I, 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 and, and all the other. And boys all the other. I went through the entire know. family. <laughs> Those guys are so dirty. I mean, they are the dirtiest men alive. I remember uh, there was no way I could keep a straight face. I was terrible on the set, terrible. Uh, with uh, you know, with little Joe. I mean, he's oh, he's well. You guys know him. I mean, he's just so dirty and so he was so funny. And uh, he said, "Well, you know, um, you know, um, who was who a Chinese cook? What was his name?" Uh, Hop you know, he said uh, uh, before he, he came to the ranch. You know, he didn't have slanted eyes. Uh, we just put him in the barrel, and on those really rough nights, we, and I said, Look, I, I don't want to hear anything more about it. No more, no more, okay? I mean, there, there was nothing was, was, uh, was, nothing was not fair game or whatever you say. I mean, it was just awful. And then, of course, I was so crazy about Haas. And I, yeah. And, and you I, had an affair with him too in one of the episodes? Oh, I'm such a tart. <laughs> I, yeah. And yeah, and I played a Shakespearean actress, of course, who had to be sent back to San Francisco because those guys, they never want to keep you forever, you know, because they'd have to pay for your salary and stuff like that. And, uh, and they don't want a girl there to interrupt the, the male patriarch. And they were all in their 30s or 40s anyway, yeah. as grown sons living at home with yes. their father. Listen to me, all of you. Look. I brought Ben Cartwright back. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> oh, there was a very funny story about that. I played a, a woman who had been captured by the Indians and, uh, and had um, a, a bastard child who was actually a pair of, of twins. You know, that's how they always do it, so that one baby can, can work and then the other baby can work. These babies, curiously enough, did not have dark skin and they did not have black hair. <laughs> <laughs> it so, was Bonanza. They had and, no bullets in their gun belts. <laughs> hey, that's good jubilee, Jim. So I had I came I, I came through the town and I don't know if anybody remembers this episode and was and pe as I as people lined up for me to go into the church, they said squaw. Squaw. <laughs> right. Now I've got red hair. I've lo got long red uh, braids. And two blonde and babies. Shoe polish was dripping down <laughs> their skin. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, so uh, so it was fine. Except okay. So the next year, I did. Um, I, I I ended up with Pa. I got a letter from David Dortort. They brought it to me on the set. And it said, Dear Mr. Dortort, do you know that we raise our children by the morality of the Bonanza boys? Uh, we're very strict, we're very rigid, very disciplined with them, and we absolutely believe the way you raise these kids. Um, now, when you got involved with uh, this woman, didn't you recognize her as the Indian a year before? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like, I really felt a lot of times like Alice in Wonderland, who had kind of come to this place and had no idea what reality was in, in any way in my life. You know, that I guess later. that was your last episode of Bonanza then. Yes, it was. Unless you had an affair with Hop Singh. No, I didn't have an affair with Hop Singh. 